more of a video for people who haven't played this game at all. Like me. Or I mean, who have played this game because I'm explaining shit. Oh. 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 More Tinder stuff. That one doesn't open. That one doesn't open either. God damn it. Do I leave here now? Yeah, you can leave. You do have to come back here later. Okay. Stop sniffling at me. <laughs> Major reefers behind those rocks. That doesn't make any sense. Major reefers? Reefers. I, I meant to be like potheads, but I for some reason said reefer. Never mind. Sweet Mary Jane. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear she too would be punished. You will be punished. You will be punished. Now on to chapter two of Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh. Okay. Where did no no go back. Go down the other side. That's where the camera was trying to lead you to. Oh. This runs better on your computer than it does on mine. What is this bullshit? Oh, I guess you can't go. I got a gaming computer, don't you know? Your graphics card is definitely better than mine. Yeah. I don't know. I have fun playing this game on my Oh, computer. what was that one it game? It feels like your yours is brighter than mine. I don't know. Whatever. I might have turned up the brightness. Oh, <laughs> I don't like dark games. It hurts my eyes. But what was that game that we were playing? It was really scary with the mannequins and like the blood in the bathtub. Oh, uh, it was like an indie game. Some, I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna do a video of that because that scared the bejesus out of me. That's a good game. I don't remember what that was called. Oh. Okay. Guess I'm not going that way. Yeah, that stuff's being formed by the shadow that's falling. Why doesn't he just form it on me and then he can eat me? Because um, it's not actually trying to kill you. It's, it's just... I can't explain too much. Do I have to go back to the wine cellar now? No, I'll go up those stairs. Okay. But yeah, it's, it's just, it's not trying to kill you. But David is uh, motivated by the uh, thought that it's trying to kill him, so certain things happen. Because Won't budge. He goes get scared so oh is this monster and the red stuff in his subconscious no no it's real oh okay see the thing is the the myth of the shadows in uh real life shadow like the old the thing that causes the shadows to show up actually exist in real life and there's like stuff about written about them like uh oh. Kings and stuff would hold these people in positions of power. Yeah. So uh, you'll it'll uh, be so explained later on. Are they they're like liches? No, no, no. Because uh, people who wield the wield the object and desire power are usually killed by the shadow. Oh, okay, I get it. But people who do not desire power, like David, he doesn't know what it does. It'll just try to get it back from him. But he's fearful of it because people died around him because of the orb, and yeah. so oh, yeah, I he guess. tries to escape it, which is why you're in Brandenburg, but I'll let that explain itself. Yeah. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location of these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tube again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Tangerine. Oh, I thought oh, 
I was once working in Burma for the local <laughs> tangerine. That's what I thought during the entire thing. Tangerine. <laughs> tangerine. Da you think Daniel sounds like him? Kinda. I don't think so. Sorry, uh, Master Wayne. All that jazz. I'm tired of your bullshit, Batman. I'm Batman! Can't be tired of my bullshit. It's bat shit. I've got some quick messing with my vision. I'm just trying to find my bracelet. Cockroaches. That's... I don't know if that is. That's nothing. I didn't open that door. It was already open, I think. Oh. Oh, look. Light. And paper that doesn't do anything. back. Okay. I really hope you guys can hear those dire entries. They probably can. I hope they can hear the game. Uh, I hope so. 17th May, 1839. My hand trembles as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Oh dear. Trapped? It's a trap. Oh, I heard something. Ah! Ah! I was, so I was hoping to use that as a weapon! You can't fight back in this game. Let me know when I should take out my lantern. Taking out your lantern will allow you allow it to see you easier. Oh. You have to like hide in a dark corner and close all the doors behind Oh you. my god! That was just a bug. It I mean, Gravity doesn't work like that. I'm closing this door. Look, someone's playing piano. It's Drac you now. Ooh, uh, uh. Assisted living vampire. How many fucks do I give? Two. Zero. Zero fucks. Huh. Yeah. See, close your mouth when you chew, monster. It sounds disgusting. What does this say? It's whatever. <laughs> Sanity is dangerously low. Okay, you can take out your, uh, your lantern now. Okay. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, Jesus. You can hold control of the crowd. Oh, that's so weirdly placed. Okay. You're not used to computer gaming. No, I'm not. I mean, this makes my hand feel uncomfortable. You don't have to always hold it. Oh, I don't have to hold it. Okay, just... Oh, that's neat. Okay, you might want to turn off your lantern. You don't want to use it too much. Okay. Yeah, 
have to use it liberally, like in the stars. Yeah. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been attempted to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There is much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. No, look! When you go over <laughs> it, it gives you a fucking English translation. Where am I? Am I in Persia? I think so. Oh. Well, now I know how to say maps in Persian. Oh, someone just slapped me in the face. <laughs> I've never opened this drawer before I fall down. <laughs> Unforgiving stone wall what seemed like an eternity and realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. I see new luck pretty much. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. It's a dragon ball. Reached out, closing it in my hands. A faint glow escaped my fingers, began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. Grasped firmly in my hands was the Thank broken you, pieces of a most peculiar relic. Never be too careful with that. 